Hello, my name is Yavi Patel, and this is and I go to Scamlin Oaks Elementary School. I'm in fifth grade. This is my project, and it's called Surviving to Thriving on Mars. In my project, I try to show how Maslow's hierarchy of needs relates to surviving on Mars. What is Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Maslow's hierarchy of needs is a theory of physiology explaining human motivations based on various levels of needs. The idea of survival through to higher goals such as altruism. Theory states that humans are motivated to fulfill their needs in a hierarchical order. The order begins from with the most basic needs moving towards advanced needs. Needs lower down must be satisfied before, before moving on to the advanced needs. From the bottom of the hierarchy upwards, it's physiological, love and belong, safety and security, love and belonging, self-esteem, and self-actualization. So first is self-actualization. I'm going to show you how each part of the pyramid relates to surviving on Mars. Self-actualization. Self-actualization is the highest on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It's, it will be the most difficult need to achieve because it's on the top. If you want to achieve this need, you must reach your full potential on Mars and create all the things that start from basic needs to most advanced needs. For example, the self self actualization Some examples are that you can be thankful for surviving on Mars and have teamwork when you're trying to achieve Maslow's hierarchy of needs on the planet of Mars. Next is self-esteem. Self-esteem is split into two categories, aesthetic and cognitive. You may or may not be able to achieve aesthetic because it's about beautifying one's lives. If you want to achieve the ration of cognitive needs, you're going to have to reach full confidence in yourself and self-confidence in yourself in all the things you're determined to do. Next is love and belonging. If you, you, want to, you can feel love and belongingness if you have friends, family, and as well as a community on Mars. Also, you can communicate with loved ones. How? Well, the rover speaks directly to Earth from the surface of Mars. It sends messages to the high gain antenna, HGA. The HGA can send a beam of information in a specific direction. Also, it's steerable, so the antenna can move to point towards any other antenna on Earth. Next is safety and security. You'll be safe on Mars if you create a home that will be willing to survive. You must use a material that will not allow any natural disasters, such as meteor strikes through the thin atmosphere and dust storms that polit politically can clog everything up. To protect themselves, from some of the listed conditions, you can build an ice insulate igloo or live underground. To protect yourself from going outside, you can get a spacesuit from Earth. Usually, spacesuits are about $250 million. Also, you can install cameras inside and outside of your home so you can stay secure. Next is physiological needs. Humans will need self-sustaining water, food, and oxygen to survive on Mars. Extracting water locked up in ice will be crucial, but the recent discovery of flowing water on Mars may not be too difficult. If the colony is a scale between a few people and may not be too, also need to maximize the use of local, local resupply on Earth. For example, by recycling water on, and oxygen and being adapted to able to use any water found on Mars, whatever form it's in. Those are all the parts. Next is human colonization. This is how all the things come together and it's kind of like a summary. There are many reasons human can colonize on Mars. Robots can provide water and food. They can also invent a type of car that can survive on Mars. They can also create a community and bring oxygen suits from Earth so they can breathe well when they're not in shelter. Also, if there's any problem on Mars, if people want to communicate from Mars to Earth, they can bring a device, one of the devices, called the NASA Deep Space Network, DSN. Some difficult things in the population of Mars would have to face the freezing cold temperatures, negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit, dust storms, important levels of radiation, toxic soil, low gravity, and zero oxygen. I made this model to show how you can survive how you can put like water and food which can help you survive on Mars and it's like a rover. Thank you.